Hey everyone, with this video I want to help you search for articles in the library's online databases. The online databases are really just collections of millions of articles that you can search through to find information for all the different research projects that you'll work on in college. So first you'll want to come to the library website and then you'll want to hover over the student resources tab at the top of our page here and then you'll want to click into databases. So we actually have a couple different databases in here that cover different subjects, but the one I'm going to focus on is called EBSCOhost. It has the most articles and it covers the most subjects, so generally it's going to want to be your starting point for most research projects. Remember, when we're on campus, you can just click and EBSCOhost will let you in and let you search for articles. If you're off campus, you're going to have to show that you're a Penn Highland student by entering your MyPeak username and password after you've clicked on EBSCOhost here. Once we click on, the database will load and it's actually going to show us here that there's actually a couple different collections of articles within EBSCOhost, but the main one, the one I'm going to show you today, is going to be EBSCOhost Web here at the top, which has, like I said, the most articles in it on the biggest variety of subjects. And here we are, we can begin searching our topic. So, for today's example, I'm going to use uh, violent video games and their effects on children for my topic. So, do violent video games make kids violent. So I'll put in my exact question there and search. And let's see what we get. So we do our search and we get four articles. That's pretty disappointing. If this happens to you when you're searching through a database, it probably means you didn't use the right keywords, the right terms when you're searching. So let's simplify this. You usually don't want to include an entire statement. You only want to include a couple important terms when you're searching for something. So we'll eliminate the word do. That's not important. And we'll eliminate the word make. And uh, let's get rid of kids and violent. We don't need the word violent twice. And instead of using like everyday words like kids, let's use a word like children. It's a little more professional and those are the kind of terms you're going to want to search when you're looking through the databases. So we'll search for just these, t these four words here. And here, let's search. And here, now our search has jumped up from four articles to 2,000 articles. So that's a little more on target. Uh, let's see, we have different studies. So these are academic journal articles. If your professor has assigned you to find scholarly sources, academic journal articles are the kind of source you're going to want to look for. Uh, so you might look through and see if you find an article that's interesting to you. Here's one about violent video games affecting our children. It looks pretty simple. It's from a uh, journal on pediatric nursing. So if I click on the title here, it'll give me all the details about the article. Uh, so the title, this article is a little old, it's from 2000. You're probably going to want to look for newer articles. So let's go back, because generally for any paper you want newer research, like within the last five or ten years or so. So let's go up. At the top here there's an option to sort articles by publication date. So we're getting articles from all the way back in 1988, and we want new research that's up to date. So if we drag this over, we'll say to 2008 for now, so we'll see all the articles from the last ten years. So we still have a thousand articles to look through, so we still have a lot. So if we keep looking to see if we find an article on our topic. Oh, a periodical here is a magazine article. Those can be good for background reading when you're starting on a topic, but they're not considered scholarly sources if that's what your professor is requiring. So here's an article that looks, looks good, Review of the Effects of Violent Video Games on Children and Adolescents. If I want to look at that, I can click on the title. This page will give me some details about it. You know, when it was published, this is from 2009. The abstract will summarize the article. Always a good idea to read the abstract to get a key idea of what the article is about. And then if the article looks good, if you click on full text here to the left, it'll bring up for the article for you to read and take notes. Remember, the more notes you take, the more you learn by reading the article, the more you'll have to talk about in your paper. So you're going to want to look for information on your topic, facts and details to support your thesis. After you read the article and take notes, you're probably going to want to write down where you got those notes from. So you'll want to get a citation. So one nice feature of EBSCO, if you look to the right, there's this little icon here. It looks like a piece of paper that's called the Cite button. If you click on it, it'll give you the APA and the MLA citation for any article in EBSCO. So you could highlight that APA citation and copy and paste it to your references page. And there's your MLA citation too that you could copy and paste into your paper. So that's a big time saver. 
So that's some tips on advice on how to get started searching through EBSCO to find articles. If you have more questions, feel free to drop by in the library and ask us for help.